On November 5th, 2021, I uploaded a video titled Found Him, The Search for L.W. Wright. In that video, I disclosed some research I found pertaining to possibly the real identity of the mystery man himself. Compiling the three plus months worth of research into a video, I uploaded it. And after 70 plus thousand views, the theories that were discussed earlier need some corrections. And how a new lead, thanks to a viewer, has helped build one of the best theories yet. A theory strong enough to maybe be able to finally say, we found him. So the obituary. The main purpose of that fragment of possible evidence was to try and construct the Richlands Virginia connection. But that wasn't the correct Larry Wright. As pointed out by quite a few people in the comments, the Larry Wright in the obituary was actually a well-known and honorable man in the local community. A man who sadly passed away in 2017. Well, this part of the theory has caved now. It should be known that a key point of the story still remains of the unpaid long distance call that Lil W. Wright did make to Richlands, Virginia. So there still may be some sort of connection for him to what could quite possibly be his hometown. The court case still yet has to be unproven. The entire theory has yet to be unproven. It is still possible a Larry Elmer Wright could have gone to jail right after he committed his deceit in NASCAR. But some more information was found with this theory. First off, the Larry Wright in this document was being charged with his second count of felony charges of burglary and larceny. And buried deep in the documents, if you read through them all, it is stated he is to serve a life sentence. Now, if we stick with this theory, L.W. then would have had his last hurrah of freedom at Dega that day. But in this document, it doesn't clearly state still whether Wright is in prison or not during 1982. The appeals of his decision occurred in early 1983, but the crime was committed in 1980. So with two and a half years between these two events, with no information on if he was actually incarcerated or not, it leaves quite a bit of questions. Also, a life sentence for the type of crimes he committed? Not downplaying what he did, but some people don't get a life sentence for murder. But nonetheless, according to the document, that is what occurred. He did get a life sentence. And some people later on in the comments were also able to find in the actual Tennessee DOC report a page pertaining to Larry Elmer Wright. In the report, it states that he was deceased. So if he did serve life in prison, he more than likely passed away there. The date is unknown. Now that we've gone through all the holes in my previous theory, here's the strongest theory I think I've ever gotten. About two to three weeks ago, I received a comment on the right video from the user WarMachine2181. They stated this, I know who Larry W. Wright is. You are correct. He graduated from Richlands High School and lived there for some time. He was raised in Raven, Virginia, and full name is Larry Wayne Wright. I don't have all the facts, but I'm definitely interested in learning more about my family. As far as my mother remembers, he now lives in North Carolina and has pulled time there for other con man activities. Immediately, I started searching for this man. First off, I wanted to see if I could find him in the North Carolina DOC. I did. I'm not going to show the actual page or any of the personal information there for privacy reasons, but I will still generalize some of the information. First of all, Larry's date of birth. It is stated in there that he would be roughly 32 at the time of his excursion in the NASCAR. So that all checks out. So that means also at the time of this video he'd be in his early 70s. Next, it also states in here, while his full legal name is Larry Wainwright, he actually goes by and was prosecuted under and classified in prison under the name of Wainwright. That could possibly allude to him being able to dodge the law, him not using his actual legal name, his middle name. The next interesting thing with this man's record is that he has been incarcerated at least seven times on multiple felony charges. He has a criminal record that stretches nearly four decades. The timeline of his charges go as this. For the sake of straightforwardness, I'll only go over the times circling the 1982 Talladega race. He's prosecuted for the first time in 1976. He served and was released the same year. 
1981, he was charged with a misdemeanor crime and put on probation. This was in late 1981. From October of 1981 to July of 1982, his records go blank. There's no reports of any misdoing he ever did. Until he was charged and incarcerated for another crime in July of 1982. He goes to jail for roughly three months until October. Now weirdly enough, the theory from the last video still holds to some extent. It's not the same guy, but when the law finally caught on him being a fake person, and people were sent to start looking for him, he was already incarcerated. He was in prison under a different name. For people saying that it doesn't make sense for a guy to use his actual name, or at least part of it, let me have you consider this. Do you think a guy who continuously went to prison for three decades cared or thought through that much detail about his crimes he committed? Probably another one of the primary reasons he was never caught was because of how primitive the sport was back then. As long as you had some sort of financial backing, regardless of what your background was, they would probably let you race. It wasn't very often that some either ex-con or fraud man or anything like that would come into the sport and completely exploit it and get away with it. Yeah, there was fraudulent advertisement. There was people who maybe scammed a car owner, but usually a lot of these people were able to get caught and taken care of it in a recent amount of time. But Niall W. Wright, he was the one who got away through it all. And he pulled off the biggest stunt, doing all these crazy things. Now, the last time Larry was in prison was about 10 years ago. And his records have gone blank again. He apparently is still alive and is living in the state of North Carolina. This is all according to a few other sources and the DOC. Now, sadly, for all of you asking, no, there is no mugshot of Mr. Wright. At least none that I can find. Without that, I still cannot guarantee that this is definitely L.W. Wright. But thanks to a comment from War Machine 2181 if that information they gave was accurate, there is plenty of reason to believe that this is L.W. Wright. Now I'll be honest, I made a bold claim the first video, but maybe and hopefully I can actually be correct now about it, or close to it. The possibility to find and search for this man is there, and to put this 40 year mystery officially to an end. Before I end this video, I want to thank everyone for the support over the last two months of being able to help me and show curiosity in trying to find L.W. Wright. This will probably be my last video on this topic, unless something groundbreaking comes up. Other than that, though, have a wonderful day, and I'll see you people in the future. Take care.